Hey, the book I have for you today is book two in the series, The Mystical Lands of Uchana by Karen E. Myers. Um, I had already showed you book one when she sent that to me, and I'll link that um, somewhere over here <laughs> um, at the end of the video. So, um, <clears throat> I have to say I absolutely love the first book so when I got this book I was pleasantly surprised that I even love this one even better the pictures are just really really cool um, it's just like the first one this is the picture of the first book as far as its double pages um, it is single-sided it is non-perforated. Um, the papers, it's thin. It's you know, a little thicker than copy paper. Um, all right, let's start flipping. <clears throat> I like the way Karen uses. Um, she it's ink and um, pen drawings that she does with these and I like how some of the lines are thicker and some of them are thinner it just makes it look more whimsical and hand drawn I really really like that look um, right here she tells you about the book and how to pronounce it you Chana you Chana um, really really cute she, here's the map again there was a map in the first one and I like how she puts a border on all of them, squares them off like that. Alright, let's start flipping. These are really, really cute. Let me um, go in a little bit so we can see them. Look, your little ghost sticking out here. It's just full of whimsy, mushroom houses, castles. Lots of little odds and ends in this book. Spirit Mountain. We've got a maze here. Very cool. I love this. She's got faces on some of her mushrooms. Can you see that? Oh, the waterfall here. very creative. It's got the observatory up here. Little flag. It's the wizard's house. Little stairs going up. Very, very cute. There's a lantern. Wedding feast. This is the one I did. This one is Heart Gourd House. gel on it but you can't tell <laughs> this um the two mushrooms have faces on them too very easy to color the paper um it took the prismas very very easily it's got good tooth the prismas lay down easily they blend it easily Long House of Lem. That's really cool how you can instead uh, see the house, but you can see all the little rooms down into the ground. The Roof Cottage. Let's cut the acorn here as a light. It looks like an old relic. Gate of Eternity. Aga and Mork. Or Aga and Mork. Okay, they're creepy. <laughs> I love this page. I think it is so cool to have their house and a tree house. I love the little stairs. I like how she's putting in all the little the little hollows, little eyes where you I don't know if you can see the eyes. 
See a little face. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love this page. This I marked off a bunch of pages in this book and I know you can see all the ones I want to do next. Um, this is definitely one of them. They're, um, it looks like there's a lot, but they're very easy to color, which I like. I don't like a lot of tedious stuff that I got out. Takes forever to color. This is bed and breakfast. The, oh, the little acorn lights uh, is just um, so darling. And here we got Zeke's Rainbow Bridge. The Berry House by the Bay. This mushroom, he's got a mustache. Look at him, check him out. <laughs> Cute. This one is Ironworks. Bammers, Ironworks, or Bomers, Ironworks. The pumpkins here. The little clock. It's adorable. She really put a lot of thought into her story and her land and her characters. Not it's 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 really well done. I like it. Tiny folk tunnels. Here where you go in, and then you got all kinds of different little places and nooks and crannies to go in. Lots of stuff to color in here. Got the sugar and the flour. This must be the kitchen. Little hollows and here's the um the stove. There's a ladder coming down. Ladder, ladder, ladder. It's coal stove. Okay, I see. And then there's the house. So adorable. Oh, and that must be like a bed. It's the top of the acorn. Oh. This is really neat. I, I don't know. I just love this page. Twins of South Forest. They each have the little doors. And this one, the staircase wraps around. And this one, this goes up here. Uh, there's multiple doors on this one. And then they got all the little vines or moss. I'm not sure how I want to take that. Just hanging down off the bridge. Connecting the two. Very, very cool. And then this is where the next one starts. Um, that's what I like. Because if you mess up, you can, you know, start over. Or you can cut them out and give them to a friend. I don't know. But um, here's the map. And it shows all the different places that, um, that she shows you. I just really like how she worked it all out. It's very, very cool. She really thought a lot about her land and how to place her pictures and everything. I think that's really, really neat. Okay. Um, I hope you like this book. I absolutely love it. I'm going to go color in it right now. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave that down at the bottom. And I'll post a link to the first one, like I said. And I'll link where you can purchase this one. Again, it's The Mystical Lands of Yu Chana by Karen E. Myers. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like and a sub. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.